The CompTIA Security Plus is a globally recognized certification that verifies you possess the cybersecurity skills to perform business IT security functions and pursue a career in cybersecurity. During study for the CompTIA Security Plus, you will learn general security concepts, including key cybersecurity terminology and concepts up front to provide a foundation for security controls discussed throughout the exam, threats, vulnerabilities, and mitigations, which focus on responding to common threats, cyber attacks, vulnerabilities, and security incidents, and appropriate mitigation techniques to monitor and secure hybrid environments. There is a huge need for cybersecurity professionals, and there may not be a better certification to put you on your way to making six figures or more like the Security Plus. Security architecture involving security implications of different architecture models, principles of securing enterprise infrastructure, and strategies to protect data. You will also learn security operations for applying and enhancing security and vulnerability management techniques, as well as security implications of proper hardware, software, and data management, and security program management and oversight processes to better reflect the reporting and communication skills required for Security Plus job roles relating to governance, risk management, compliance, assessment, and security awareness. There are many different self-study options and boot camps from training companies like the InfoSec Institute and the Training Camp, along with schools like San Diego State University and Morgan State University who also offer cybersecurity training options with a focus on the CompTIA Security Plus. Exam preparation is offered by CompTIA through e-learning with CertMaster Learn, interactive labs with CertMaster Labs, exam prep with CertMaster Practice, study guides for Security Plus, and instructor-led training. The Security Plus certification is a stepping stone towards the more advanced certifications, CISSP, CISM, CRISP, or CGIT. This will help you transition from being more hands-on as a Security Plus into engineering with CISSP or governance with CISM, CRISP, or CGIT. Once you have some years of experience working in a role that requires Security Plus, you can use that knowledge to sit for these advanced certifications and move up in your career as an engineer, a consultant, or an architect. CompTIA has a recommended prerequisite to get the most out of the CompTIA Security Plus study guide and be able to prepare for your exam that you should have successfully passed the CompTIA Network Plus certification exam and acquired 24 months of experience in networking support and IT administration. Call me what you want, but I prefer reading study guides making notes, and developing a test-taking strategy on my own. There are different ways that you can get prepared for the test with boot camps and, and different classes that you could take, but I learn better independently. After reading the official CompTIA Security Plus study guide, you will be able to compare security roles and security controls explain threat actors and threat intelligence, perform security assessments, identify social engineering and malware, and summarize basic cryptographic concepts.
Next, you will learn how to implement public key infrastructure, implement authentication controls, implement identity and account management controls, implement secure network designs, and implement network security appliances. Looking through the exam study guide, I keep seeing the word implement. And much of this exam highlights the ability to perform specific job tasks and be ready to work right away as say a security analyst or a similar role. The study guide also tests your knowledge to implement secure network protocols, implement host security solutions, implement secure mobile solutions, summarize secure application concepts, and implement secure cloud solutions. In addition, explain data privacy and protection concepts, perform incident response, explain digital forensics, summarize risk management concepts, implement cybersecurity resilience, and explain physical security. If you understand all of the information delivered through the CompTIA Security Plus and have experience working professionally or in lab environment, with some of the leading operating systems and applications, you are ready to make a contribution working in cybersecurity and improve your financial situation. The world is constantly changing and now could be possibly the best time to get into the cybersecurity career field. There's just so many things happening around the country, especially here in the United States, issues with port closures and strikes. Uh, while you're on strike or if you've been laid off from a technology company even, you should consider looking into cybersecurity. The demand is constantly increasing and there's not much time that's really required in order to get started. We're not talking about going to college for another four years or eight years if you want to become a doctor, working in the cybersecurity career field, getting your foot in the door as a security analyst really requires basic foundational knowledge of technologies and combining that with Security Plus can really move you into a better position. Asaka. CGEIT certification commands a six-figure minimum salary. Wow, how is that possible? Well, when I take the time to explain to you how you get to the point where you're qualified as a CGEIT, you'll understand why this certification is at the top of the industry and commands such a high salary. The career development from being a security analyst with possibly some technical certifications from AWS, Google, Microsoft, Cisco, combined with a CompTIA Security Plus can get you in a situation where you're preparing yourself maybe in a couple years, you can move up to become a ISC Squared, CISSP, top technical certification in cybersecurity for uh, many people's opinions and become a security engineer and then after some years of experience in that role, you could level up, earn your ISACA CG EIT certification and be prepared for more advanced roles that definitely deserve a six figure minimum salary. We're talking about a certified professional who can be your chief information security officer, your VSISO, possibly a independent security consultant, or a very focused governance, risk, and compliance manager in GRC, where definitely you would like to be a CGIT. The CGEIT certification by ISACA 
recognizes IT professionals with deep knowledge of enterprise IT governance principles and practices, as well as the ability to enhance the value of the organization through governance and risk optimization measures and to align IT with business strategies and goals. Since the program started, more than 7,000 individuals have achieved the CGEIT certification through ISACA. Before we get to the minimum six-figure salary, we need to talk about the requirements in order to become a CGEIT. The certification requires five or more years of experience in an advisory or oversight role supporting the governance of IT-related contribution to an enterprise. In these four domains, the exam will cover governance of enterprise IT, IT resources, benefits realization, and risk optimization. So what exactly is domain one, the governance of enterprise IT? This domain deals with the organizational structure of building IT frameworks, the strategy and technology aspects of IT governance, and essential knowledge about governing various types of information. Governance framework, technology governance, information governance. For example, your team would like to upgrade some older Windows operating systems machines to new Mac laptops. That sounds great. There's always value in newer, faster systems. But what about the cost? I mean, what are we going to do about collaboration? Are there any considerations for compatibility with critical software that's already in use in the business? How would data be transferred to systems? Domain two, IT resources. This domain provides insight about where to effectively allocate your IT resources and how to ensure IT resources are streamlined for performance. This includes IT resource planning and IT resource optimization. Years ago, the National Bureau of Economic Research highlighted use it or lose it IT budget rules. They pointed out that federal agencies spend five times more in the last week of the fiscal year than they do in any other week of the year. That means there's a scramble for new servers, software, laptops, any IT investments that will help protect their IT budget for the next fiscal year. Domain three, benefits realization. This domain is focused on managing performance monitoring and reporting, and analyzing IT-enabled technology investment management, which is focused on IT performance and oversight and the management of IT-enabled investments. Now you have to ask yourself, did the IT department put together an implementation plan before the procurement was initiated? Most companies will invest 4% of their annual revenue in IT expense. So for a small business, that may mean $1 million per year, but for a Fortune 500 company, we're talking about 400 million plus. And when that type of investment is being made, you want to make sure that you have proper governance. Has a business case been prepared and reviewed Will the hundreds of thousands of dollars or even millions of dollars in IT investment perform to expectations? Will that new vulnerability scanning software be able to evaluate all of your assets in each of your company owned environments? Will your IT team provide regular firewall metrics to show how many attacks have been blocked? And finally, domain four, Risk optimization. This domain is all about mitigating potential to IT risk and challenges and overseeing the risk of IT management capabilities around risk strategy and IT enabled capabilities, processes, and services. With the increased use of artificial intelligence, 
chief information officers, chief information security officers, and even chief risk officers have to ask, how do we improve our risk management program? Documenting and planning risk management standards will help reduce the complexity of managing your IT resources. I have been an ISACA member for over a decade and maintain four of their core certifications. The CGEIT is a very difficult exam. It covers four hours and 150 multiple choice questions. Now, this isn't something that you can just take on with uh, something that I saw early in my career with cramming for the exam on, on a technical certification. This actually requires real time, having a seat at the table in a oversight, a governance type of role where you understand more than the technical requirements of implementing a new technology in your environment. So, do you have what it takes to earn the ISACA CGEIT certification? I hope that by watching this video, you understand the requirements and the value that a CGEIT can bring to any organization.